This video is brought to you by Stone Master. Today we got the Lenovo K12 Pro. What's going on everyone? Your boy Kevin back again. Today we got another budget smartphone we're going to review. In front of me I got the Lenovo K12 Pro. There's two versions of this. There's the Lenovo K12 and there's the Lenovo K Pro. And this is the Pro version. And the cost of these are, this one is around $150 and the non-pro one is around hundred dollars what we're going to do today we're going to be doing the unboxing of this we're going to see how's the quality on it and how's the performance on it before we start this video guys please please don't forget to smash that subscribe button there's a little bell right in the corner if you press that every time i make a new video you get a reminder make sure you do press that because i'm going to be giving the umidagi a9 really really soon so keep on watching this phone comes like this in a box like that if you guys can see it says Lenovo K12 Pro and they give me this I guess that's the headphones or something like this or maybe they give it to me as a gift I'm not really sure or maybe it does come with the phone but it's not in the box let's open this guys and this phone comes in a big display 6.8 inch guys that's crazy for a budget phone only $150 let's see what's inside here what's in there uh, nothing, just a manual book. That's it. You get a wall charger, guys. Looks like a Samsung charger. And you get cables. That's it. Nothing else in there, guys. Nothing. Put these away. Let's see what's in here. Let's open these. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a stand, guys. So you can put your phone like on a stand. That's really cool. Well, yeah, you can put a phone on a stand like this. That's cool. I think they give me this as a gift. Yeah, I don't think it comes with the phone. And some headphones. Throw these away. Let me take the case off so you guys can see it better. Tell you guys right now, this phone, it is heavy. Very heavy phone. It comes with 6,000 milliamp battery, guys. So this battery on this, two days for sure. But it's really heavy, make sure you know that. And this phone comes with a fingerprint scanner in the back and comes with face unlock. And both of them work really good. Let me show you guys. If you can see, it works nice and smooth. Now let's try the face unlock. and you get triple camera setup in the back with the flash. I really don't like the setup of the camera. And you get a 64 main MP. And if you guys can see, you get 6.8 inch display. It is flat display and it's LCD. And the back of the phone, it's got a curve and it feels really good in your hand. Very comfortable to hold, to play games. Feels really good. The camera is not bothering me at all. And you got your on and off button right there and your volume button. and. Overall looks really good. You get a headphone jack right there, guys. I just don't like it because it's too heavy. That's the thing. Holding this all day in your pocket, I think it might kind of get annoying. And you got a Lenovo right there. Now let's go look at the specs on this phone and I'm gonna show you guys the phone a little bit closer so you guys can see the design and how it looks like. Display you got 6.8 inch LCD 720 x 1640 pixel. For weight, you got 221 gram. For OS, you got Android 10, chipset, you got Snapdragon 8662. For CPU, you got Quad Core. For GPU, you got Adreno 610. Memory, you can get this phone in 64 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, or 128 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte. For camera, for the rear, you got 64 MP, 2 MP, 2 MP, and this phone can record 1080, 30, 60. For selfie camera, you got 16 MP, can record 1080, 30. You get headphone jack, you get NFC. The NFC does not work with Google Pay. Phone comes with a fingerprint scanner in the back and you get face unlock. For battery, you got 6,000 milliamp, you got a fast charge of 20 watt and you got reverse charging of 2.5 watt. And for colors, you can get it in electric violet and you can get it in metallic stage. Now let's try the case on it, see is it to protect the phone or not. Let's see this. So, so far the front display, it is not gonna protect it because the display is actually touching the surface. The camera, it does protect the camera. So if you put it like this, your cameras are good. 
and if you drop it, uh, it might not protect it. It looks pretty cheap case. So it's better to buy your own case if you buy it. It's got a 6.8 inch display, so you're gonna obviously enjoy watching videos on it or playing games. It's a big display. Now let's go see the quality of the display. How does it look like and how's the sound on this display? So now we're gonna see what we can play on this display. Let's go to these square things. Let's see what max is on this. So we can play 1080p 60 guys on this uh, display. You guys can see beautiful display, but the sound is not as good. Does not get that loud. One thing I'm gonna let you guys know guys, this phone does not come with the charger. And it's running at 1080p 60 and there's no lag on the display. To get the charger. But Xiaomi says on their website, the charger is free. If you don't ask for the charger, they're not gonna give you the charger. So make sure when you buy this phone, you ask for the charger. That is weird, makes no sense. Obviously you got Snapdragon uh, 662, is not the best chipset out there, but let's go download the game and see the gaming performance on this phone. So far good performance, no lag. So for gaming, you're good to go. There's no lag and it's running really nice and smooth. Obviously you get a triple camera setup. You get a 64 MP on a budget phone. You can record FHD full. And this phone comes with slow motion and a bunch of other settings. Let me go show you guys the actual settings that this phone comes as a camera. Then I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna take some pictures, some videos for you guys, so you guys can see the pictures and videos this phone takes. So obviously you got a budget phone, it's not gonna have that many features, but let's go through them anyway. So you got your photo, then you got your micro. Let's see how's the micro on this. I've seen better guys. Let's go to zoom, see how many zoom this phone's got. You get eight times zoom guys. Then you got your timer, you got your flash. And let's go up here, nothing there. Let's go to here. So you get your portrait, you get your uh, uh, spot colors, you get your night vision, you get your cinema, you get your panorama, you get your group selfies, ultra, ultra 64 MP, and you get your pro mode, slow motion, and time lapse, and spot colors. So that's pretty much it for there. Let's go to video. So for video, you got your micro again, and you got your eight times zoom, and torch is your uh, flash, but they call a torch on this one. And you go up like this, guys. Same thing, you get to your torch and to your mic. Let's see what else, nothing else there. Settings, let's see what is it record as so for video. So you can record in FHD4 or FHD. And that's pretty much it. Does not have anything more that I can show you guys. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures and videos I took with this phone. This one is recorded at FHD4. FHD FHD Ten eighty P Eight times zoom. My opinion about this phone for $150, is it worth it or not? Absolutely is worth it. You get a big display, 
Actually, the display is really good. You can actually enjoy watching videos on it or playing games on it. For gaming performance, it's really good. I had no lag and no problem on it. The battery is gonna last you for two days for sure. And it takes pretty good pictures and records pretty good videos. Remember, budget $450. You cannot accept too much out of it. You guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this phone. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.